I just listened to the new We Do Mac album called Psycho Babble. This will probably be my last We Do Mac review. And you know what people are going to say? People are going to say, oh, you're a Twizzler because I'm wearing a Twister hoodie. I don't have any Ouija hoodies because all the Ouija hoodies that I got in my size are too small and they're too tight. So I had to sell them. Because if it's a 2X, it should be a 2X. It should not be a fitted XL shirt, basically. And just to show I'm not one-sided, look, Ouija Mac pin. This is not one-sided. This is not pro-MNE, pro-psychopathic. I'm here for good music. Unfortunately, this is not good music. While listening to this album, I will say the beat selection for some of the songs was pretty good. Wasn't as awful as Dark Planets, or Animoyas, or even Corruptus. That was just a fucking nuclear nightmare of its own. But at the same time, I didn't feel super positive about anything here, and I just left with a neutral feeling. Like I can say confidently that none of these tracks were memorable and it will show in what I wrote basically they just kind of all blended together into one big blob and I know in the past Ouija reviews have been all negative and I really wanted to give them a chance on this I really hate the negative reviews I hate doing it but people like me reviewing certain albums so I'm gonna keep doing them as much as I can but at this point after f this is the fourth fucking album and there's nothing special about it. There's nothing special I can pull out of any album on here that he's done in 2024, let alone in 2023 either, that is at all memorable to me. And I will get to my nitpicks about this one at the very end because it's going to be a long one. Buckle in, get a drink, get a smoke, whatever you want to do, just have fun. So for this one, I'm going to rapid fire these because I don't have much to say about each of the tracks. And how many tracks are there? Let's see. His favorite number is, what is it, 17? Yep, there's 17 tracks. That's probably about 10 too many, honestly. First track up is Maxwell House. Okay, beat. Same talking points, nothing special. I will say, there's not an intro that takes forever, so I will give it that. Clown Curse is just not good either. I didn't like it as a single, honestly, if I'm going to be 100% honest. It's another I'm a Wicked Clown song and samples ICP yet again. Which, in his case, I fucking hate when he does it. Believe it or not, it's him pandering to that side. It's it's pandering, the wicked clown shit. It's pandering. He's like, ooh, look, I'm clown. Money, money, money. Kick the Wicked has a semi-good beat, honestly. I'll give it that. But is it anything special? Absolutely not. Is it better than a lot of the others? Hell yes, it is. Absent Mind is one where the beat's not good. But I don't know how to describe it as not bad, because at least it's kind of structured. It just feels like everything's just slopped together. Fire Bugalo just seems, honestly, like another run-of-the-mill serial killing song. But, at least in this case, there's arson. It's not, oh, I'm going around with a hatchet all the time. I'm burning stuff now. 86 from the mall, I will tell you straight up. I forgot it as soon as the song was done. And I write... And if you, if you know how I've done these, I do two listens. I do one full run where I talk about the first part and then the track by track is when I go back and legit listen to every single track again and write while I listen to it. I write it at the very end just so that way I listen to the whole song. I forgot what 86 from the mall was about at the end. I remember him talking about Maryland and I remember him talking about hitting the lick in FYE. That's what I can give you. Delusions, another basic filler song. Nothing really special to it, that's it. New Rune Cometh is another run of the mill. Serial killing song, but now he's possessed. It just just a serial killing demon. That's all it is. With an ICP mention. Look at that. Money, money, money. Um, I will say the next one, Hellraiser, at least has a new beat to it. It sounds interesting, kind of. Not on the vocal end though. It does have Darby on it, though. Also, I'll give it that. It's it Darby doing the same exact kind of stuff that Ouija's doing. Ain't it main? I hated that single when it dropped. Honestly, I'll tell you straight up. The three singles that dropped for this all fucking sucked. They were all bad. Ain't it main's boring. Only thing I remember, he talked about throwing up the set and there are producer tags. Another summer, on to me, sounds like a lazy attempt at a 3-6 Mafia song mixed with the most boring juggalo 
bullshit. Yeah, three six has a song um in the summer. If I'm correct, that's what it's called. It's off the Mystic Styles album. That's the that's genuinely what it sounded like to me, but a sloppy version of it. The next one. The song Hatchet on My Dresser had me wanting to turn it off before verse one. That's another big no no. If if I had to take a shot after every time chapter seventeen was mentioned in the song, I'd have alcohol poisoning. I'd be on the floor throwing up every fucking thing I can imagine. I think it was mentioned like at least a dozen times or half a dozen times in the intro alone. Like it was at a point where I'm like, what the fuck's going on with this? Let's let's just ride is another one. It's just it's filler shit. Forgot forgettable. That's it. The next one is an acronym, it's Bitch I Do Not Give a Fuck. That is exactly how I feel about this song. It's a flexing song about the same shit that's gonna be talked about on this album and the next album and the next album after that, and people that don't know any better are just gonna keep eating this shit up. Pazuzu is another forgettable one, I think. It's about a haunted house. I remember him talking about a haunted house on the hill. Summon in the main, though, at the very end. The worst fucking pick for a song at the very end. I will give him credit on some level. Not a lot of level. We don't want to give him too much credit. Because at this point, this is just fucking pathetic. But the past couple songs on the endings have been at least alright. Not good, but alright. But this one just fucking sucks. It's, it's just flexing again. He's flexing. That's it. So now we're at the Ear Appeal. We're at the Ear Appeal now. I have to put this lower than Dark Planet. This is going lower than Dark Planet. And I hated Dark Planet. Because at least Dark Planet had the end song that I can listen to rarely. I put it in a giant mix. That's it. I'll listen to it maybe once a month. That's it. Maybe. This album gets a 1.5 out of 10. I can't even give it a 2. Because there are genuinely no songs on this album that I would want to come back to at a later date to listen to even once a week or any so often. Listening twice was already rough enough for me, so why would I want to put myself through it again? The overall score of this album is a 2 out of 10. Gets an extra point five because the cover is actually pretty cool. Like why this will be the last Ouija Mac album I talk about for a long while if not forever. There's no range. There's nothing that makes me hooked to this that makes me want to come back to these albums. Now I talk about a lot about the talking points in this. And people are gonna people are gonna bitch you're gonna throw the twisted shit back. There there people are gonna do that, but this isn't about them. This is about Ouija right now. This from a neutral standpoint Ouija Mac is the worst with versatility. I'm going to tell you that 100% again. Ouija Mac's versatility and what he talks about sucks. Bottom of it. That, that's it. It fucking sucks. And here are the talking points. He's flexing on people. Like he does in a lot of songs. Like, bitch, I do not give a fuck. Like, he's just flexing. Like, he's flexing his wealth. Whatever he is. Oh, he's a star. Blah, blah, blah. There's probably something about sex in there. There's there's at least one... I'm surprised I don't remember a song in this that's been fully about sex. But I remember there's mentions of it throughout it. The pandering to ICP. There's two different panderings. There's the pandering to ICP where it's like, oh, like, I'm a wicked clown. 17 blah blah blah. Because if you don't know ICP thing, it's like the 17... I think it's... One of the albums, if I'm correct, sold like 17 copies the first day, and that's like their magic number. Yeah. If you remember 2017, Beam in a 17, I hated that fucking line. That was so cringy. But that was their thing. What did Ouija do? He's riding that coattail the best he can. Just, I'm a wicked clown. ICP in every single song. Samplers. Like, sampling them. Talked about the Wraith in the one. And A New Rune Cometh. It's just, it's tiring at this point. If he did it, I would say if he limited it to maybe one time an album, like any sort of pandering towards him, just one time in an album, I would not even be that mad. But the fact that damn near every single song 
has something on it. It has something relating to ICP in any way. Like, it's just ridiculous. And then we have the Juggalo pandering, which is like the fourth talking point, but it kind of goes hand in hand with the ICP pandering. So the Juggalo pandering is kind of the same stuff. It's like, I'm a Juggalo, the wicked shit. Um, talking about serial killing in every single song. It's different if you want to talk about killing in a song. That's different. It's like everyone does it. People on Magic Ninja do it. People on Psychopathic do it. People on LSP do it. Everyone has done at least one song about violence, basically. Let's just put it at that. My honest recommendation? Fuck Ouija Mac from now on. Go check out an actual underground artist or even any artist that is probably smaller than him in some level. Check out underground artists that are doing some neat stuff. Go explore and find some hidden albums that are bangers. I've been doing that recently and I've found so many. Um, what was I just listening to recently? Tenebreeze and I think it's Lysergic Suicides Adventures in Nightmareland just came out recently. That's a Keller Synths album. That's a fucking crazy shit album. And that's still better than this. What else did I listen to recently? That's not, like, underground juggalo stuff, even. Intense loungewear. He's, like, a fucking noise guy. I'm actually talking about him to him about pressing up one of his albums. Um, where's that one I found recently? It's, like, a mix of weird psych rock. Mascot Moth. One of their albums. Seswin Aberful Avatar. It's such a solid album. Those are artists that deserve your time and attention. I'm not even promoting my stuff on here. Because I could say, oh, don't listen to him. Listen to my stuff. Listen to the new text file editor and sodium chloride collab EP that we just put out. We just put out a giant album called The Split. And we had a lot of fun with it. But I'm not going to shill that on here. And say that's ten times better. Because we do instrumental stuff. We just have fun with it. At the moment, that's not a paid album. You can listen to it on YouTube. Audio Mac, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, for free. Because it's like, I'd rather give the music to the people and let them have fun listening to this. But I would say from here on out, the new music, I would just pass on it. Make him, like, kind of work for a quality song. 